Good morning. My name is Carmen Milagros Torres. Today is the International Children's Book Day. And to celebrate this special occasion, which is basically dedicated to the outstanding writer Hans Christian Andersen, that we all have enjoyed his stories like The Little Mermaid, uh, I decided to write a story and to recreate it with puppets to share this special day that is so important for our, for our children. So enjoy it. The story I'm going to be sharing with you is titled The Cast Dream and there are three characters that you'll be seeing in the story. The first character is the cat. Here's the cat. How are you? Meow. Meow. He's the first character. Another character that will appear is the star, who is the friend of the cat. And we have the cookie, who I love so much. He's one of my favorite characters in my stories. Cookie, cookie. So those are the three characters. Once upon a time, there lived a cat meow. who loved to look at the sky at night. Meow, meow. He dreamed of becoming a star himself because he loved a little star that became his friend. She was a very small star and every night she would shine and the cat would be there saying hello to the star. Meow star, how are you? And the star would simply shine and continue on with her friends in the sky. But the little cat became so, so obsessed with becoming a star that he wouldn't go down the branch where he used to climb up to see the star. He would be there day and night looking at the sky and looking at the sky. And his friends were worried. He had as friend the mucaro, a little owl, a lizard, un lagartijo in Spanish, and the little coqui. So the coqui started climbing up the branch and say, Cat, my friend, come down. But the cat would simply say, Meow, no thank you. I want to become a star. So the coqui climbed down the tree and was worried. And he talked with the mucaro and he talked with the lizard that the cat wanted to become a star. And they were sad because they liked him as a cat. Now, one dark starry night, he kept there looking and looking and his friend appeared. And he started smiling. He said, oh, my friend Star, how are you? And she smiled and she shined very brightly. And she started shining and shining until she got near him and gave him a kiss on the forehead and said, see you my friend cat, I like you very much, you're very special. And she left. And the cat said, ah, that means I'm going to become a star. And he stayed in the branch waiting and waiting and waiting. But nothing happened. He kept looking at the cat and he started getting very sad because he wasn't special. I'm not special, meow. I'm just simply a cat. But then the next night, the cookie came again and said, Cat, cat, cookie, we're so worried about you. Why? I'm just simply a cat. You're not simply a cat. You're our friend, a cat. The mucaro, the lizard, I am very, very sad. It's been weeks that you haven't shared with us. It's been weak that you haven't climbed down this tree and played with us. We're very lonely. We really want you to be part of us again and be our friend and play in the forest. And the cat said, but the star said I was special. And you are special. That's why we miss you so much. You're a special cat. But I wanted to be a star. But why? You are the star's friend, aren't you? Yes, and she's your friend, and she will always be your friend. But you are a cat, and a very good cat, and we all miss you very much. So the cat understood and said, 
you're right, meow. I will always be the star's friend, but I will always be your friend also. And they said, great, so calm down. The Mugaro and the Lesser are waiting for you. Yes, I will. And together they climbed down the tree and the cat was happy playing with his friends and in the night before going to sleep the cat looked out of the window and would say good night my friend the star and the star up in the sky looked at him and would say see you my friend you are a very special cat and he would then go to sleep very happily knowing he had as a friend not only the star but the mukaro, the lizard, and the goki. So that is my story. I hope that you liked it. It's a very simple story that I wrote for my daughter. So have a very nice day and enjoy today, which is a very special day, sharing stories and books with your loved ones, especially children. See you.